Good evening, I'm Dave Borchard alongside Chris Goff. Big show tonight, Chris, coming up later. The Metro Pro Heavyweight Championship on the line in a dog collar match. Yeah, this will be great. It'll be great seeing Jeremy Wyatt not with the title, Dave. Sure, Chris. look at this guy. He never makes a con he's not he's not a conformity, Dave. He comes in any entrance in this building he wants to, and no one tells him what to do. He is Mark Sterling, the fittest wrestler in the world. I don't know. He, he just went by the concessions. Maybe just wanted a hot dog, Chris. No, he came in the law. Oh, look at that. Kid got a nice piece of spin on his hand. That was great. Disgusting. <laughs> it's supposed to be the holiday season still, Chris. What's this guy up to? I don't know. Oh, well, the, the Burger King brothers. How many times are going to make this sign? This is horrible. Well, probably until they lose weight, Chris. Oh. Even if they had a New Year's resolution, I think it would take a long time. So they're a little big, Dave, but that's what makes them strong and intimidating. You just call them a little big, Chris? Well, it's professional wrestling, Dave. Look, they're slightly bigger than Santa Claus. They're twice as big as the natural disasters from the 1980s, Chris. Hey, that's why they're with Mark Sterling. Mark Sterling is going to whip them into shape, Dave. This guy knows all about fitness. The Burger King brothers said they're, they're pretty proud of that sign. Yeah, I don't think Rip that's absolutely correct. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yes. Stopping it. The big stop. Yes. Yeah, there it is, finally. Artwork destroyed, I love it. Artwork gets destroyed on this show so many times, Dave. Well, that wasn't as sad as, you know, what we saw before with Strider a few years ago. That was devastating. Yeah, poor Rob Schamberger, but there we are. The Killer City Kings, Dave. Ryan King, Jake King, and Mark Sterling. And Mark Sterling is taking on a, an old nemesis here, Dave. Takey on. What did those shirts say? No burger is safe? Is that what that said on the game? No one is safe, oh. Dave. Yes. Yes, they can destroy Chinese buffets when they walk into places. Yes, shop owners do start weeping, but who cares, Dave? That's why they, they, they make buffets for people like that. Take you us here, Chris. That's really what I'm more interested in than these, you know, lard butts, the cake brothers. Let's talk about Take you here, the martial arts expert. Yes, Take you on has a, has a history with Mark Sterling, Dave, and Mark Sterling wants to unmask Take you on so bad because he knows that he he's worked with this guy in the past. He knows more about him than, he, than he's letting on. So we'll see what happens. So wait, who is this guy? Well, he told me he's going to unmask him tonight. We'll all find out. Interesting. Well, yes, he is the martial arts master, Dave. We'll see if he can beat Mark Sterling, keep the mask on. I seriously doubt it, especially with the King Brothers out there. Takeon trying to get this capacity crowd to turn a rec center into the match. Mark Sterling, of course, eyeing his prey like an animal on the savanna, Chris. That's right, Dave. Wonderful analogy there. Thank you, Chris. Mark Sterling now is starting to get it on here with Tanky on. This, this is going to be good, Dave, because I really want to see Mark Sterling and the King Brothers just destroy this the pseudo martial arts guy. Yeah, I thought you'd I thought you'd at least admit, Chris. You know, Mark Sterling, the best wrestler in Metro Pro, according to you. You think you'd really need 800 pounds of reinforcement here outside of the ring? Hey, why not, Dave? People need bodyguards. People need someone to watch their back. You see what happens. You don't want someone else bringing out two guys out here to hurt you, do you? I don't think Takeyon's going to cheat, Chris. He's above that. As I've said, if you Takeyon had any friends, maybe you'd have some out here. Lock up here and Takeyon getting the early advantage in this match. Mark Sterling, the fittest wrestler in the world, Dave. He's going to train these King Brothers to look just like him. Here's a takedown. Just a one count. Referee maybe didn't even get the arm down for the one count. And Sterling giving Takeyon a chance to recover here, a little bit surprised. Yeah, Sterling trash talking Takeyon as the crowd begins to get beyond, beyond uh, Takeyon here. Look at Sterling looking out to that tunnel basically with his eyes shut up. So, wait, you said Sterling knows this guy. Do you think it's the same guy in that Revolution mask, Chris? It could be, Dave. Look, I have no idea. He's my favorite masked wrestler in Metro Pro history. Revolucha is one for the history books, yes. Dave. You're absolutely right. But here they are locking up again. Take you on getting the crowd support. Off to a good start, Chris, winning the second meetup as well. But now Sterling trying to reverse it. He does just that. That nice. Throwing him down, reversing it is Sterling. Looking at the crowd for approval. Of course, they're going to give it to him, I'm sure. I heard a rumor he was going to have a better attitude for the new year. Can you confirm that, Chris? I think that was a resolution for Mark Sterling. I, you know, just just slightly better would be uh, hard to notice, Dave. I, you well, know, he, has a, he has a long road to go to being a very happy man, Dave. But, you know, I think it's the anger that fuels his success. Well, I guess I can't really argue that. He's been ticked off ever since I've known him. And, yeah, like you said, he's one of the most successful guys in the locker room. A nice takedown there by Take Nice suplex. Dropping the arm on that, dropping the knee on that bicep, rather. And 
Mark Sterling holding that on, and the King Brothers not at yeah, What a wuss putting that foot on the rope, getting the five count, Chris. Oh, Dave, it's called wrestling, okay? Whatever, Chris. Be a man and fight it. Come yeah, on, Tim Sterling. Look at him screaming, screaming at the referee that he is the best wrestler here. Continue. Lots of spit he has today. Well, is the season a spit, I guess. Is it? Is, that, is that what the I, season is? I really don't know, but Sterling looked a little, a little hurt with that left arm, Chris. Certainly favoring his right here as they go for the possible test of strength. I've seen Tankion in past matches, Dave, in this federation and others, just do some big time damage with his martial arts. So we'll see if he does anything to Sterling today. Trying to trying to lock up here maybe a, a test of strength, would you? Yeah, you know, he may be great with martial arts, but I wouldn't think testing Sterling's strength is a good idea for Tankion, but look at this here, Chris. Look at that. Not even a one count though, but yes, quite the maneuver by him. Takey on and yes, you're absolutely right. Sterling, one of the strongest guys in the back here in that roster. So Takey on probably not going to match strength for strength, but he had to do what he had to do. He was quick right there and got the takedown of Sterling. Continue to work over the left arm. Sterling with the reversal, but Takey on reverses right back. Continuing to work over that left arm after dropping the knee earlier. It's obviously in pain, and he's continuing to wrench at that back. But look at this, Dave. Sterling trying to come up. Looks like maybe a neck breaker. Nope. Oh, big elbow. I'm just glad he's not going for the ropes this time in the submission hole. Chris. Oh, thanks, Dave. You're so tough making fun of Sterling doing that. I would never submit, Chris. Never. Look at these martial art punches there, throwing it. Now reversal, Irish whip. Uh-oh, Sterling can't take you. Have a look at that. It's another one. Oh, Sterling goes airborne and crashes down to the mat. Scissor takedown by Tankion. And try it one more time, Dave, but go to the well too often. I'll give you the mark shooter, Chris. Yes. Oh. Come on, that would have been over. Takeyon had it scouted. Nice moves and a great start here for the challenger. Oh, here's a cover. Leg is hooked, not even a one count. Is the ref really slow or are these just some quick counts, Chris? Yeah, come on, Dave. You can't even keep him down for a second. I, it's not the referee's fault. Not yet, anyway. I just wanted to give you a chance to insult the referees. I know it's one of your favorite pastimes. It is. This guy stinks. Reversal by Sterling. Takeyon again going airborne. Sterling catches him again. And oh, look at that. Throwing him to the outside. Oh, big shoulder block by Takeyon. Takeyon now taking him. I was going to say handful of hair, but there is very little hair in the ring right now. You just tried to accuse taking out of cheating when Sterling has no hair. Just confirm that. Look please. at this. I, well, I, I've seen it happen before, Dave. Sterling taking out battle here on the road. King Watch Brothers. Out for the King, King Brothers. Brothers. Yeah, hands of off. Oh, come on. Referee sees nothing, Dave. What happened? I'm looking out to this window. What's going on? Take Actually, Chris, the, the King ball. Brothers cheated, as could be expected, and predicted right here by me. Look, Ryan King just looking at his wristbands. Knows nothing of the sort. Here we go. Mark Sterling now in control. Yeah, taking advantage. It was all take you but now it's all Sterling after that cheating from the Kings. Throwing that back into the metal ring apron right there. Killer City King symbol being thrown up. I think a lot of fans. Look, Santa Claus is on board. Well, I'm just glad, you know, he was busy with the holiday, Chris. He's just relaxing for a little bit. Yeah, no, he's on board giving the Killer City King sign, Dave. And there's Ryan King kneeling down. Ready to help his master, his fitness guru, Mark Sterling, at any point in this match, as good disciples do. Here we go, one count, one and a half. Well, I think Sterling certainly fit in a great shape, but if he's the fitness leader for the Kings, I don't know how much business he's going to be getting off of that Dave, endorsement, Chris. A lot of work, okay? A lot of work has to be done, Dave. Rome was not built in a day, okay? It takes a while. It's been like 10 years. It's been a couple years, so yeah, Rome was built in 10 years, right? Here we go. Oh, look at this submission by Sterling, and how can Tanky get out of this? Break his legs. Bow and arrow may be coming up. He's sort of close to the ropes, and of course, in this situation, I'd always reach for the ropes to break the submission hole, Chris. People are chanting, let's go Sterling. Yeah, I think that's one person. It's probably Sterling's fan. Look at this. Look at this oh, submission, Dave. It looks excruciating, Chris. Wretching that back, pulling on his neck, his foot. Just the leverage he has on taking on now. Oh, look at that. How did he get out of that? Nice reversal. Uh, but Sterling's still in complete control. Big knee to the face. Looks like he's going to whip Takeyon off the ropes. Here we go. No. Stopped by Takeyon. There's a backslide coming up. What? Maybe he'll get Two, a one three. Count. I think no, he had him, Chris. On. One and a half, maybe. He finally gets a count. That's good for him. Yeah, the ref was out of position, though. It took him a while to get the count started. His English uppercut there. Whip and Takeyon right to the turnbuckle here, but Takeyon catches him with an elbow. Oh, come on, Sterling. Rip that mask off. It's coming off anyway. Nice. Back by. 
body drop. Here's a cover. Two. Oh, no, Chris. What if Takeon had, like, horrible acid burns or something? You really want to put this guy through the embarrassment of having his mask removed? Is he Kane now all of a sudden? He might be. You never know. No, obviously not Kane, but... Come on, I, I don't know what his past is, Dave, but Mark Sterling says he thinks he knows who this is, and he's going to show the world who it is tonight. Oh, big punches to the chest. Those clubbing blows there in the corner. Now the maybe the tree of woe here for Takeon. Hooking his feet up there. Look, Sterling knows he hasn't been in a very precarious position here. Referee's calling for a clean break, but I wouldn't expect that from Sterling. As oh, here we go. The nice, this is, I love the, when he flaunts his... His fitness power here, Dave. Uh, just because you couldn't do four push-ups like he just did doesn't mean you need oh, to come like it, Chris. On. I'm up to six. There we go. Take you on out of the corner. Cover now. Leg is hooked by Sterling again, just a one count. Man, I don't know what's going to take. These two are barely giving up a one, one and a half counts on these covers. Sterling now with the heavy artillery in the right hands. Oh, he's going for the mask. I think we can take it off. Take it off. He needs to do some more damage before Takeon, if he does get that mask removed, before it will happen. Who could this be? Takeon. The, the only guy I can remember in Metro Pearl being demasked was Derek Stone. This certainly isn't him. Definitely not. He is not Duroy Slays. You're absolutely right. Thanks for the Duroy Slays reference, Dave. Hey, anytime you can work that in, it's a great episode of Metro Pro, am I right? Yeah, you're right. Takeon now going to work on Sterling. Sterling catches him, though. Big bear hug. Submission maneuver here again, in the middle of the ring. We'll see if Sterling can get him to, to tap here, Dave. Maybe, maybe he's going to just pass out from the pain, and he's going to be able to just drop his hands. One, two, three. Here we go. One. Two. Uh -oh, one more time, and it's over. Come on. Oh, come on. The stupid he's finger up, wag. Chris, yes. The finger wag of death. <laughs> the big right elbow in the back of Sterling's head, but he put an end to that, Dave, of course. Yeah, the knee to the gut of death right that, there. That hurt his ear. And one thing you don't want to do to Sterling is hurt his ear. That is the old saying, Chris. Yeah. Very sensitive yeah. ears on this Absolutely guy. Absolutely right. Here he is. He's going for a DDT, a suplex. Maybe, What's he going to do here? Maybe a suplex time, I think. Here we go. Vertical suplex time. No. Reversed. Takeyon Chef Sterling on the ropes with the big elbow. Takeyon having some problems with his mask. Maybe he should unmask to help himself. Oh, spinning heel kick. What a move by the martial arts master. Oh, oh, look at that. It's got to be it, Chris. Neckbreaker. Kip up. What's he going to do now? Oh. <laughs> Bulldog. Here we go. This could be it. No. He doesn't hook the legs and only a two count. King Brothers screaming, Mark, get up. Crowd go crazy. They sense victory for Takeyon. Takeyon cannot win, Dave. I want to see who this loser is. Take off his mask. Sterling wobbly. He's on Dream Street. Come on. Come to it. Both guys in a lot of trouble here. Takeyon crushes the turnbuckle. Oh, then Sterling. No. I thought he was going belly to back, but no. Is he going to Tree of Woe? Yes, he is now. What's Takeyon going to do? Oh, this is great. The tables have turned Sterling's here. Sterling's in trouble. Come on, Takeyon. Oh, what is this? Yes. Blocking him? Dude. This is horrible. Oh, no. yes. The mask is off. Who is it? This is great. He, uh, he unmasked him when he, no one thought he was going to do it right when he was flaunting and mocking him. Well, who he, is it, Chris? Well, look, I don't know. He's covering up like a little boy. Is he going to try to win the match or is he going to try to protect his identity here? Come on. Look at that. He's got his mask in his mouth. Hitting his own head. Who's he going to be, Dave? I think Sterling knows. Come on, show your face. It's Crow! He spit right in Sterling's face, Chris. And look at this. He's been unmasked, but he's still fighting in this match. Craig Keyes has been also known as Crow in the past for Central States Wrestling. He's now here at Metro Pro Wrestling. There he is, the Crow symbol. I love that symbol. He's been around for years, Dave. Him and Mark Sterling have such a history. Wow. Oh, oh, look at that DDT. Rolling Sterling over. Sterling's in trouble. No, get up. Oh, thought the Crow was going to take a big dump right there on Sterling, Chris. 
Now, why does the crow, why is Crow out here? Why doesn't he want Sterling to know who he is? Why does he not give Sterling? Sterling would know everything to do to take this guy down. He's been wrestling him for years. The scouting advantage, Chris. What a great move by Crow. And Crow going to the top, and he wants a little bit too much oh. approval from the crowd. Yeah, that, that's what happens when you want the crowd to get on your side. Wait, do we call him Crow or Takeyon, Chris? What are we doing uh, here? Now, uh, I'm just going to call him Takeyon, I guess, Dave. Here we go. It doesn't really matter at this point. Sterling's going to have to beat him either way. The three faces of Crow, whatever. Sterling going for a possible finisher here, but now Takeyon pushes oh. out a big martial arts kick. Fortunately for Sterling, he rolled to the outsider. He was done that for. That knocks Sterling to the outside, and Crow says what? He's going to go up and over? Looking for the approval again as the King Brothers tend to their leader. Maybe some padding down there to catch his fall, Chris. The Killer City Kings trying to get Sterling up on his feet. Crow's up to the top rope, guys. What are you doing? It's like this bird's got to fall, Chris. Yes. The King Brothers take the brunt of it, Dave. Sterling rolled underneath the ring. And look, Crow again trying to get the crowd behind him. But oh, man, the Killer City Kings down. He's wondering where Sterling went. And he has no idea he slipped under the ring, does he? I have no idea. I don't know if he saw him rolling out. He's the crowd telling him he's under the ring. Now peeking under there. Yes! Yes! Oh, Sterling was waiting to get ambushed there, Chris. He, what's he doing to him, Dave? Oh, he's taking these metal rods down there and just beating his legs with it. What? Yes! What the hell's wrong with you? Oh, if there's a ladder down there, anything else sharp. This guy shouldn't have ever put that stupid mask on. Something bad happened under there. He's grabbing his knee. I wonder if Sterling found a foreign object, no, like I'm, you said. I'm sure he just like just. I think he just twisted yeah, it. Just twisted happened. and tried to get out, Dave. I think. I'm sure Mark had nothing to do with it. Here we go. Crow getting rolled back in. Oh, he can't stand though, Chris, on that knee. What did Sterling do to him? Bad wheel, Dave. Oh, no, figure yes, four. Yes, Mark Shooter. Come on. Oh. Look at that roll up though. <laughs> and Come almost on. stole victory from the Jaws of the Beat there. Oh. <laughs> it's like a three legged dog, Dave. It's funny when they fall. Shut up, Chris. That's horrible. <laughs> now he does. It looks like he's going to lock in the Mark Shooter. Here we go. Tap, tap, tap. Me, oh, buddy. nowhere near the yeah. ropes either. Come on. Tap, you loser. Shut up, Chris. Sterling has it. Just because you have that stupid mask, you're not going to get over on Sterling like that. Look to Jen and tap. Don't tap out, Crow. Come on. You're almost there. Sterling, come on. Don't let him take you over the ropes. No. King Brothers, get over there. Oh. oh yes. He can't stand much more of this. He doesn't. Oh. Yes. Tap. The Mark Shooter. Another victim to the Mark Shooter. Oh, no, yeah. He's a victim to the Mark Shooter after Sterling did some sort of chicanery hey, underneath saw the ring, Chris. You saw nothing. I saw a healthy guy take you go under and then come out not able to walk. I don't know what he did. There's a lot of metal down there. Maybe he hit his knee on the post. I don't know. Bottom line is he tapped out to the Mark Shooter even after coming in with that stupid mask on and not even letting Dark Sterling know he's going to wrestle. Oh, and if it isn't, wasn't bad enough. Now the King Brothers coming yeah. in. Hopefully Grill can get out of here. Come on. Let's destroy him more. I'm going to couple avalanches to end this thing. Oh, the referee helping him out. Thank goodness. He gave it a walk. Wow, a great first match to get things started. And maybe even even better main event coming up. You're absolutely right, Dave. Metro Pro Heavyweight title match. The challenger, not the champion, the challenger, Jeremy Wyatt. Take it on Scrap Iron, Adam Pierce. By the way, Dave, was I see Take on slash Pro slash Craig Keesman walking. What? What, is he going to shut? Oh! Ah, uh, see, there was something under there, Chris. He dropped it. I think he was just picking it up. Oh, he's smart. He drilled him right in the knee with that kettlebell. He's even smarter than me. I didn't even see that one coming. Dave. That's not saying much. As I saw Takeyon and Crow walking out, Dave, with that limp, you know, if it was a horse track, you know what they'd have to do to him. Take it behind the shed. To, you know, you plug a couple. You, you know, turn him into glue. Is that yeah, what you're saying? Yep. Yeah. Take him to the glue factory. What if it's nice martial arts glue? But look, the Kings and Mark Sterling leaving through the crowd like usual. Heavyweight championship match coming up after this. Welcome back, it's main event time here on Metro Pro Wrestling and the Metro Pro Heavyweight Championship is on the line. 
in a dog collar match, Chris. It's this, gonna be great. This is interesting, Dave. We've never, well, it's been a long time since we've had a dog collar match here at Metro Pro Wrestling. And this is interesting, too, that we see the challenger coming up first, and it's Jeremy White. When was the last time this guy did not have a, any kind of title belt around his waist? <laughs> this doesn't seem right, does it, Chris? No, it seems like a glorious day that he does not have a championship title belt on him. It's, look, Dave, we all like stuff. We like shows, we like things that last a long time. But after once in a while, I need a little bit of change of scenery, and this is really good for me. You know, I was talking to Wyatt backstage, Chris, and he said, you know, asking him about his approach tonight. He, yeah. said, he said, you know, it's a doggy dog world, and Pierce is wearing milk bone underpants tonight, Chris. That's what he told me. Is that me. what he said? I heard it. He really thought that he thought that was what was going to get him the championship win tonight. I just tell you, he's going to take out his aggression, Chris. He's looking for revenge. I think that's the point he was trying to get across. But we'll see. He does need revenge because Adam Pierce definitely gave him a, maybe one too many pile drivers last time he was here. It'll marry me, Wyatt. I guess the real question is, is it? Is she hotter than his current wife? I mean, that's the question, right? Well, he is married, so exactly. I'm going to say he's going to say that she's not hotter than his current wife, Dave, because that's what you say if you don't want to get in trouble oh, in your marriage. Oh, I'm just giving you an opportunity to put your foot in your mouth, Chris. No, I don't well, do that ever. Well done. Anyway, Wyatt, like you said, it's weird not seeing him without a belt, and certainly a guy that's always highly motivated, but I think even a little bit more so tonight, going for that revenge and trying to get that title back from Scrap Iron out of Pierce. This will be interesting. 15 foot of chain there between the two collars, between Jeremy Wyatt and Scrap Iron Adam Pierce, and here he comes, Scrap Daddy himself, the former five-time world champion, Adam Pierce. Well, certainly a great wrestler, but you know, for, for Pierce, I think it's his bark's worse than his bite, Chris. I mean, that's what, that's what I like to say, you know? Are you kidding me? Well, it's a dog collar match. I got to get in these references where I can. Well, I hope, I mean, you're just making references because this guy's a five-time world champion, Dave. Now I he's can. a Metro Pro champion. I can't talk trash on him. I certainly can't. That rope is worth more than your car. Well, it's, yeah, absolutely. I mean, he makes Ric Flair's ropes from back in the day look like pieces of crap with that rope. Yeah, that's more piece of crap you drive. I mean, this rope's way better than him. It's made in America, Dave, more than anything I can say in your house. Scrapper and Adam Pierce looking to retain that Metro Pro Heavyweight Championship tonight in his rematch that he didn't have to give, but he wanted to give Jeremy Wyatt in a dog collar All right, match. give me some strategy analysis here, Chris. How did the dog, the dog collars and the chains yeah, who does that benefit? How does this work out strategically? Well, who not? knows? Because obviously what these guys are different. Scrap Iron is the heavyweight champion of the world many times over. He's got the weight advantage, the strength advantage over Wyatt. But Wyatt, we know he's very cunning. We'll see if that's going to help him, you know, maybe outpace Adam Pierce in this. Let's hear what Don Diablo has to say to these two guys. the belt collector, the rebel, Jeremy And his opponent standing to my left from San Diego, California, weighing 242 and three quarter pounds. He is a five time world champion and the defending Metro Pro Heavyweight Champion. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. This is for the Metro this Pro professional Heavy wrestling Wade world for title. decades. The one-time Metro Pro Heavyweight Champion, and I know he wants to defend it tonight against Jeremy White. This dog collar match, Dave, and basically you're going to be able to use any part of this dog collar to win this match. I mean, you can use this chain to bust somebody open, obviously choke them out, but either way, you have to get the pinfall. So it's not like it's a last man standing match. You still have to get the one, two, three, or the submission. But again. It's sort of like hardcore rules in a sense that you can use this dog collar to do anything you want to your opponent. This is great, Chris. I mean, this match would be great enough without the dog collar. Now it's just hardcore to the insane levels here. And I uh, can't wait to see how this plays out. You know what's interesting, Dave, is both these guys have had neck issues in their career, including Adam Pierce just a couple years ago with some neck problems. We didn't know if he was going to be able to come back to the world of professional wrestling, and here he is willingly putting a dog collar around his neck. I mean, can you imagine you get thrown over that top rope, you can almost hang yourself, you can hurt yourself so bad with some kind of just fast jerk 
of this, this chain. And we'll see if it benefits him. But Jeremy White, he, he's had plenty of problems as well. I mean, these guys have both been around for over a decade in the world of professional wrestling. So neither one of their necks are 100% at this point. Slow stars. These guys feel each other out. But now exchanging huge haymakers in the center of the ring. Here we go. Wyatt with the early advantage here with those rights. Look at this, Adam Pierce against the ropes. Here we go. First use of the oh. Thought it was going to be the first use of the chain there. Now Pierce going to use a wrap around those knuckles, but Wyatt catches him in the gut. Both stopping each other on their first attempt to try to bust each other open with that chain. We'll oh, look at it. Oh. <laughs> he's chopping sound like Wyatt may have actually chopped the chain and hurt that one had to hurt his own that chain. Hurt, yes, yeah, so you gotta be careful with that too. Obviously, that there's so many things that you have to think about when you're dealing with this chain around your neck. I mean, tripping, tripping yourself, throw, falling outside the ring. Obviously, you know you can, like I said, you can almost hang yourself oh. falling outside. Look at that. No, Chris, I know you've told me you use the dog collar quite a bit in your past and your love life, so I think you feel like you offer a unique perspective here in the analysis. I'm excited. Dude, I've never told you anything about my personal life, okay? Because I don't want you knowing anything about me, okay? Because I don't want you in my life. I know you have stalking things up, charges on you from Facebook. I Look, we do this show together and that's it. But it was a trap, Chris. It was a trap. That's all conspiracy. I digress. Look, look at this. You oh, chop. chop. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah that's cheap. You can use the you can use the stupid chain, but biting is horrible. Look at that. Pierce falling to the outside right there. Why are you going after him? Yeah, you have to retrace the step of whoever goes out first, Dave. Eh? You go into the rope, you got the rope around that bottom rope. Crazy new dynamics with his dog collar now. Pierce biting him. What do you think this of that, Chris? Turnabout is fair play, right? If you would have done it first, you would have been crying all about it. But now he's just doing what he wants to do right back to him. Oh, and there's the chain finally getting used, choking the life out of Wyatt. Yeah, you know. Have you ever seen an Adam Pierce match not go through the crowd and destroy this building? You know it's going to be even worse with this dog collar. Now Wyatt trying to take control outside of the ring. I just hope that neck of Adam oh. Pierce is able to to, you know, sustain all the injury possibilities in this match because it's going to be... Oh, oh no! I saw that coming, Dave. That knife edge chop off. Maybe broke his hand. You don't even know it. Oh, I had to, Chris. Oh. And Adam Pierce smelling blood already. He knows he's going to do... Oh, and look at that. Just nailing him upside the head with that shake. Huge open hand slap and insult to injury. Oh, here we go. Look, trying to choke out Jeremy Wyatt, and Dave, and this is what this is all legal. I mean, this is what this was crazy about the dog collar match. Look, he's telling he's telling people in the crowd to move. He's talking to Chris Kringle there, Chris. He's telling everybody to move, Dave, and you know what that means. Someone's going for a ride. Oh God! Is that a pinball or a uke? Look at all the chairs. Just thank goodness all the kids and women around the way. But Jeremy Wyatt now thrown into those chairs and. Adam Pierce, what, is he telling the referee to shut up again? I just been smart. Oh, there oh, you go. No. Crack that chair up in his head. It's all legal, Dan. He's already done enough, Chris. Here we go. Come on, come on. Oh, oh my goodness. Stop short by Wyatt. Already getting crazy, Dave. Chairs, nachos all over the floor. Cleaning department's going to be really mad again. There goes the trash can. Here we go to the concession corner now, Dave. Oh, trash can in the face. Oh, oh. Here go the M&M's, Chris. Yeah, the, the sour pad is strong. This is horrible. And look at Wyatt going to the top. Drops with the big oh. elbow on the back of Pierce. Shades of the Macho Man, but it looks like he came down wrong on his knee, Chris. He probably hit that chain, Dave. How did he avoid the chain at this point? His back's already red. Here we go, Pierce now throwing him into the chips. No! Not the Fritos! Chili cheese Rita to stay off those. Really good sellers. And Pierce now going up and over. Well, uh -oh. he's going to pick up the. Oh. The concession stand has been destroyed again. Seen chair shots, table shots, trash can shots, dog collar no. chairs. And now he's going for the. He's going for the Cheetos, Chris. When you ruin food, that's it's even worse. It's not easy being cheesy. It's not easy no. being cheesy, Dave. I love. Slogans from the 80s, I love that. I don't think anybody loves them more than you, Chris. That's absolutely right. Look at what does he have? The oh. in his mouth, he just spit in the face of Pierce. Now they refuse to leave the concession oh. area. 
Getting caught up in the, you see the chain get caught up, Dave? It's all wrapped around the legs of Pierce. He tripped and fell head first into the wall. Brick wall there, not much padding, Chris. Not to mention the peanut M&Ms and the sour straws. The giant pixie sticks, Dave. Those are like a couple bucks a piece. Here we go, trying to choke him out some more as he pulls him up by his neck. Some soda there he could go for, Chris. That could be entertaining. Don't give him any other ideas, Dave. There's hot dogs and nachos over there, too, but I digress. Oh, we got a pretty girl leaving, Chris. I think she should come back in the screenshot. Is that the one? Here we go. Big knife and shot there. Another big right hand. Midnight Guthrie out there watching things on the sideline. Look at that up and out. There he goes. Into the concrete and wood that makes up the stands here at Metro and Turner Rec Center here for Metro Pro Wrestling. Lights down and out. Oh, the trip oh, come on. <laughs> right on that arm of Jeremy White. Go Referee Wilco is trying to get the guys back in the ring. Unfortunately, he didn't realize they've already been outside for 10 minutes. This is getting crazy now, Dave. Everyone's taking pictures. Somebody uh, even has a bright young shirt on. People are nuts here. Miss that guy, Chris. I love that mustache. Here we go, throwing him back down on the ground. Pierce, like I said, this is the thing about Don Call, you have to follow him wherever he goes. He's gonna follow him maybe with the big elbow. Oh, what's he going for here? You might be right, Chris. Measured it up. No, no uh, big right hand. Big punch. punch. Fist coming down the head of Jeremy White as he swims among the Dr. Pepper and water bottles. Pierce was a choice word for referee Wilkos here. Can't blame him for that. Here we go, back to the ring. This is interesting. I didn't know if we'd ever get back here. And appears going over by the stage now. Jeremy White fighting back, big right hand. Trying to get some cameras over there as they try to get through the crowd. And Wyatt, what's he doing now? Walking away. Stretching, going for over there, Chris. Stretching that chain out. Here we go, a running star. Oh. Face first into the metal steps. Tripped into those metal steps and weigh about 65 pounds. And Jeremy White's head just nailed the corner of it. And devastating impact for the challenger, but Pierce doesn't look all that good himself right now. Adam Pierce, I swear, every time he's here at Metro Pro Wrestling, and he is the champion right now, he puts his body on the line, much like Jeremy White. That's why this match is so spectacular, because these two will do anything in the world of professional oh, wrestling. I hate to see these steps getting involved, Chris. This is going to end a career here. Well, hopefully it's Jeremy White's, Dave. Oh, oh look at that. White's almost... Pinball and back. He looks punch drunk here. He's in no position to defend himself as Pierce getting the foreign objects in play. Look at Wyatt's back's already just rapid red marks all over it. And there goes Adam Pierce with the big punches to the head. Where are you laughing? It's not funny, Chris. I'm just, look, Adam Pierce is uh, he's, he's trying to massacre Jeremy Wyatt right now. I can't tell if Jeremy Wyatt's been busted open or not, Dave, but when he hit those stairs, he went down in a heap. Referee Wilkos right there checking on the challenger, but the match will continue. We got our camera guy. Oh, he is busted open, Dave. We got our camera guy up on the stage shooting down. And look at Pierce just biting into that open wound of Jeremy Wyatt. Was he a vampire, Chris? <laughs> well, Twilight was big at one point, Dave. Really was. I heard you were Team Edward. I don't even know what that means, so I'm glad. Sure you I'm don't. glad I don't. Sure you don't. Adam, I'm Team Medea. I know that Who much. isn't Team Medea, Dave? There's your next t-shirt, Chris, by the way, as Pierce gets back into the ring. Oh, look at this. Now see, the, look, the, the chain is around that uh -oh. rope. Oh, 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 yes. Why did just fall it back? He's an off body weight. Pulling out of Pierce's head into that ring post. Even you have to admit that's a genius move, Chris. It was, Dave, because I'm pretty sure Jeremy White was on his last leg there. I mean, he's stumbling around, bleeding everywhere. Adam Pierce now down, and he hit that, that metal post once again, so we'll see if that did any damage to Adam Pierce. But look at Wyatt, David Crimson Mask coming around nicely. Oh, look at Pierce. Blood everywhere, Dave. Just gushing blood, Chris. Both these guys. Looks like spider webs all over his head, Dave. It's amazing. Look, now Jeremy Wyatt's just pounding it, trying to open it bigger. Make it bleed out, Wyatt. What? Wait, what? What happened? I blacked out there for a second.
Uh, Wyatt's just stalking on the outside. He needs to get in the ring and follow up with the champ here if he's going to win this match. Both these guys, again, putting their body, blood, tears, sweat all on the line tonight to try for this Metro Pro Championship. And appears the current champion, Wyatt, trying to get it back and trying to regain it after losing it the last time these two fought. Big headbutt by Wyatt. Pierce in all sorts of trouble here in the corner. He's a bloody mess, Man, Chris. Blood all over these two. Just ravished the, ravished all over uh, Turner Rec Center. Man, I haven't seen blood like this forever. Reminds me of Ric Flair back in the day. You're right, concession stand destroyed. Their backs destroyed. Jeremy White busted open on the metal steps. Adam Pierce busted open on the metal ring post. And these two continue to throw him oh. And they continue to bite and try to rip each other's wounds open. That's the best way to put it. He's acting like a rabid dog here, Chris. I know it's a dog collar match at all, but what the hell's wrong with this guy? Look, he's he's punching himself. He's trying to bust himself open, Dave. At this point, what's he got to lose? He's trying to retain his title. He's lost it, Chris. Did he ever have it? Yeah, look, he busted his chin there on the top of his head. Jeremy White now up, got that chain. He's going to pull the neck of Adam Pierce at this point. Oh, no. Yes. Cross face. But Pierce has his foot on the rope, Dave. That can't be. He can't submit oh, his foot he's tapping, on the rope. Chris. I think he's tapping. His foot's up on the rope. No tap. And if he taps, it doesn't even count. I see the hand shake. He get that no, a tap. No, no, no. That's not a tap. Shut up. Look, he's choking him out with the chain. Yes, yeah, this, this has to be this it. Is a, this has to be unfair. You can do everything but that. This has to be it, Chris. The cross face, the submission, trying to get Pierce to tap so he can regain his title. And what, is he going to pass out, Dave? No. Just one more. No, no, no. Get up, get up, get up. Come on, stop. Get it up. Yes. What? Yes. That is vintage Adam Pierce. Incredible! Belly to back on Wyatt, and now he has to untangle his throat from that 15-foot steel chain. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, it happens to me all the time, Dave, yeah. Where, where do you live? Here we go, Adam Pierce and Wyatt both in the back and middle of the ring, both bleeding from their head. Who is going to win this match? Who is going to be the Metro Pro champion walking out of this? I'm hoping it's Jeremy Wyatt, Chris. I think 95% of the fans of Turner Rec feel the same way. Come on, Adam Pierce deserves this. He shouldn't even give it Wyatt this rematch. Wyatt is on Dream Street now. Pierce with the chain, look at this. Oh, oh. flipped him up and over. Controlled him with that chain at this point. Look at that spine buster right on the chain. There's a cover. One, two, and it's over. Oh, somehow Wyatt kicks out. Adam Pierce can't believe that Referee Wilco's kick out to three. The same referee that gave Pierce the championship win for the world title against Cole Cabana, though, Dave, so I don't know if he can really argue that much. They yeah, clearly count to three in that case. Yes, Chris. he did. In that best of seven series, we got match four here in Kansas City. What a series that was with Pierce and Cabana, but back to this. Trying to regain his title. Jeremy White, he's barely awake at this point. I think he's not Cole. No, he does that. Look at this! Lightning spiral on Pierce! This could be it, Dave! Get Wyatt with the cutter! No, 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 no. Both legs are hooked, Chris! Yeah, no. this, thank goodness. Thank goodness Pierce kicked out. So he's in the cross face, Dave. Pierce got out of that. He's in the lightning spiral, Dave. Pierce kicked out of that. What can he do, Dave? I'm ready for a pile driver and end this one for Pierce. Say, if either guy could do a pile driver in those steps, Chris, we're probably at the end of a match. Yeah. They're still set up precariously outside of the ring. They are. And hopefully Pierce gets to use it because he was the one putting them together. But you see the frustration on the face of Jeremy White because he could not put on Adam Pierce as both of them are bleeding in the middle of the ring. Both guys with a handful of chain, and Pierce strikes first. And Pierce, he's going to the top. Yes, it's tough to do with the chain, isn't it? Yes, yeah, he had to decide to clap on the inside, Dave, because you go to the outside, you're tugging yourself around the ropes. But now gave him, gave him enough time to get to his feet with White. Man, all sorts of logistical issues here with this dog collar and chain, Chris. Is this a superplex that Wyatt's going to try? We've seen that in this finishing sequence before, but look, Pierce stopping and pushing him down. Pierce now finally making his way all the way to the top. 
Oh, no, come no. on! Oh. <laughs> Incredible! Look at that, just running up and suplexing Pierce down in the middle of the ring with that dog collar around his neck. Like I said, this could yank his neck out of alignment one more time, David, put him in the retirement hole. Well, we can only hope, Chris. No! And what, look at, look at, what's Wyatt doing? He's, he's gathering up this chain, a little pile. What does he have in mind? I'm sure he just has something friendly he wants to do with oh, the yeah. chain, Chris. Yeah, I'm sure, Dave. He just got, he just got a spine buster on him. Oh. DDT in the right of the chain. Seriously, that has to be it, Chris. No one can survive that. A DDT on the chain. Here's a cover. One, two. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Thank goodness. Did not believe Adam Pierce kicked out. What is he going to have to do, Dave? Both of them still with the dog collar around their neck has not come off either one of them. 15 feet of chain laying between them right now, and Wyatt pretty frustrated, I think. Wyatt now needs to focus on Adam Pierce instead, having some words for referee Wilkos. Yelling at referee. Same idea he has, has to climb from the inside, Dave, to get to the top. We've seen this. Is he going to drop the big Macho Man elbow? He's done that plenty of times. Maya Vapir seems to be sort of making his way towards his feet. Here we go. Yeah. He's pushing him, Chris. Oh, he was playing possum. <laughs> Pulling him down by his neck with that chain. And here he is, Bob Robert. Here we go. No. Yes. Yes. Here we oh. It's over. Why it's lifeless. One, two, three. Yeah, but. Oh. Pierce can't believe it. He just pile drove him after yanking him off the top of the chain. You want to talk about neck damage? Jeez. Wyatt can't be feeling too good after those two moves. No, his neck is obviously shot before this match, so that had to have hurt. He said broken legs, messed up necks, bad backs. I mean, the dog collar match doesn't help any of those. And what is he doing now, Dave? Uh, no. He's, he's taking off the turnbuckle a la George the Animal Steel, leaving it exposed right there, that the metal turnbuckle up there. We'll see what happens. Yeah, he's telling the referee to stand up his way. I don't think those were his exact words, Chris. That's the way I took him. Is he going to pile drive Yes, again? do it again. Oh, back body drop reversed by Wyatt. Both guys taking a ton of damage here, Chris. Neither one can get up at the moment. Wyatt, Wyatt trying to climb up to the top. I don't know if he knows that turnbuckle is exposed, but Pierce now. I hit him down, Dave. What's he going to do? Oh, 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 double clothesline. Look at those two huge lariats from both these guys, and both are down. Man, did you see that impact? That was incredible. Now, referee's going to have to start the count, Dave. Is he going to get to 10? If it does, Adam Pierce retains the Metro Pro Championship. Come on. Come on, somebody get up. No. Both stay down. Just stay down, Pierce. You'll win. So Chris waiting for that side again. They can double count. What up? However, retains it, Dave. All fair. Are you his Shut manager up. or something? No. What's going on here, Chris? I'm, just, I'm, I'm a huge out of your unbiased broadcast journalist. Well, since when? Well, it's an excellent point, Chris. As Pierce is about to make his way up to his feet, it looks like. Come on, guys. Look at these two bleeding in the middle of the ring. Dog collar still on these two headbutts back and forth. Uh, huge haymakers here in the center of the ring. Both oh, these guys oh, look like they're punch drunk here. Headbutts back and forth. Big rights. Who is going to win this battle tonight? Back and forth. Neither man able to get control here. Both hitting each other at the same time. How many times is this going to happen, Dave? That's two. What's going on? Why it looks like he's out on his feet, Chris. What is happening here? They're looking at the referee now? Why are they looking at the ref? What the hell's happening here? He just turned on the ref. And now they're just attacking each other. They probably got sick of referee Wilco's continuing to tell him to stop the clinch mitts. You know, I've never liked that guy. I hate to say that. No, I love that. I love that he's down. I can't believe they came to an agreement that they should both take him out, Dave. And the referee's rolling to the outside now, and, and so is Pierce. You said he's out there by those double stairs, Dave. Pierce on the outside. Hey, White now looking over and seeing that turnbuckle cover as well. Maybe he'll be able to use that to his advantage. Come on. White having to follow him underneath that bottom rope. Dave, we've seen it. Apron pile driver maybe by, by White? Maybe going, oh! <laughs> What a cheap shot by the champ. Hey, it's fair. It's a dog collar match, Dave. Low blow. And what's Pierce doing now, Dave? Apron Paul Driver. Come on. Come on. Two, two attempts. Baby fighting back now. Big right hand by Wyatt. 
Oh, and just dropping over that top rope. Who's gonna get the upper hand? They got the chain there, they got the stairs there. Referee is out. Pandemonium here, Dave. And Pierce falls to the outside. Wyatt draped over that top rope. Look at this! No! Oh! Powerbomb right onto the steps. Oh, your back just got broken on those steps. That's gotta be it, Chris. I mean, Jeffrey Wyatt once had his nipple pulled off in a barbed wire match, but that had to hurt just as bad right there. For Pierce, I guess the only bad thing is there's no referee to end the match. It's gotta be over. Look at that, just throwing him on his back on top of those stairs. I have Wyatt, never seen that maneuver. Wyatt being pulled up by his neck with that collar thrown back into the ring. And like you said, there's no referee, so who's gonna come count this? Somebody wake that stupid referee up. Here we go as a cover. One, two, three, four, five, six. We Maybe you shouldn't have knocked the referee out, Chris. Well, huh? How about that? Well, you did too, okay? It's not just him. Well, clearly, good strategy by the challenger. Get up. huge dividends. Get up, you're paid to be a referee. Where's Wyatt going, Chris? I don't know. He's leaving the ring as Pierce is arguing with the referee, and he's going under the, under the ring, Dave. I think Pierce will be able to find him, Chris. Well, he should, he should follow the... The trail of popcorn that's been thrown out by Hansel and Gretel there. Then you go to the, to the bottom rope. Maybe he's not as smart as I thought he was, Chris. He's having some trouble here. No, he's just wondering what's going on, Dave. I think anyone would probably wonder that at this There's point. Is there still a kettlebell under there? Hopefully not, unless Pierce gets it. Here, what's he pulling him? What? The cheater took it off? No, it must have fallen off. Why would never cheat? Fallen off? Look, he's got a kendo stick from the fan. He's going to make sure that he hits somebody upside the head. Oh, oh, oh yes! The salt, the powder in the eyes. Oh, I think it's just dusty under the ring, Chris. Why would never no. cheese? It's clean here, usually. Here we go, throw back into the ring. Got the, the, the salt thrown in the eyes, Dave. And Pierce doesn't even know where he's at at this point. Oh, fist of fury from Wyatt. Come on. He doesn't have to have on that duck collar to win the match, does he, Chris? I guess not. He ripped it off, cheater. Oh, look at this. Tying him up with the with the chain in the corner as he headbutts him. Why, how could he headbutt him, Dave? He was bleeding profusely earlier. Pierce can't defend himself either. Look at this, Pierce in a lot of trouble with a big right hand. And is this even fair? He doesn't even have the dog color on anymore. Reversal by the oh, challenger. Oh, the, oh, oh, yes. that exposed turnbuckle. Adam Pierce just nailed it. I don't even know if White did it on purpose, but he did. He knocked him into that turnbuckle and Pierce is out. That's what he's gonna do here. He's collected the chain for something. Maybe he should put it back on, the cheater. It's a dog collar match. He's both supposed to have it on. Go to the top referee rope. not calling anything. It must be fine. <laughs> yeah, what a shock. This referee has as many morals as you do, Dave. Let's go to the top. And what's he going to do? Is he finally going to put it? No, he's not. He's wrapping uh -oh. his forearm with that chain. Is he going to do Pierce. the big elbow, Chris, with a chain around his elbow? Certainly looks that way, Dave. Wyatt trying to regain his title. All the way to the top. Macho Man shades of it with this elbow drop. If he hits it, it might be over for Pierce. No! Oh, he got it! This has no. to be it! No! Yes! And Wyatt has reclaimed oh, the title. He didn't even have his stupid dog collar on. That's isn't even fair. Adam Pierce's reign as Metro Pro Champion is over as Jeremy Wyatt has now won it for multiple times here in Metro Pro Wrestling in a dog collar match against the former five-time world champion. Standing ovation from all the fans here at Turner Rec Center. Not just for Wyatt, but for both these competitors. What a war. What a war. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Dave. Both these guys put in a thousand percent effort tonight for this Metro Pro Heavyweight Championship match. One of the most exciting matches we've ever had in the history of this company. As Jeremy Wyatt is very happy that he has his title back where he probably thinks it belongs. But I think Adam Pearce was the hell of a champion. Look at Wyatt can't even get to his feet, but he's got the title belt in his hands. I guess at the end of the day, that's all that matters. This crowd very happy for Jeremy Wyatt as he is slow to get up even after this championship win. Adam Pierce, who knows if his neck is even okay, pushing away the referee. I guess he's okay but enough for that. And I think Wyatt has to have some respect for Adam Pierce here after both of them just destroyed Turner Rack trying for that title belt. Goes down in the annals of the greatest matches in Metro Pro Wrestling history, no doubt about it. 
as Jeremy Wyatt has reclaimed the championship from Adam Pearce. How are you going to top this going forward? How is Jeremy Wyatt or Adam Pearce ever going to have another match at Metro Pro that lives up even better than this one? I mean, whether it's getting the backdrop on the two metal chairs, getting both busted open during this match, using that chain to choke each other out. Lots of blood, sweat, and tears in this match tonight. Hell of an effort by both of them. Pierce trying to get up to his feet. Is he going to go after Wyatt, or do you think, what do we have here? Here we go. The, here in the locker room clearing out as they come out to congratulate Jeremy Wyatt on his Metro Pro Championship win. I think giving both these men some respect as they just put on a hell of a clinic. Everyone coming out. Adam Pierce doesn't know where he's at at this point. Jeremy White holding that title belt. What's going to happen between these two? Oh, and Pierce raising the head of White. Adam, what you, a show of sportsmanship. You got to give it to Pierce there, Dave. Obviously, respect for both of these men. Congratulations, Jeremy White.